So hey there, sign of Sagittarius. This is Kim. This is your next 48 hour reading. Here's my second attempt. We're just going to pull cards because trying to go in with the plan is not working. This is the Kipper, Kipper deck. Maybe that is a message for you too. Maybe. Oh wow, great fortune's coming out. Maybe that's why it wanted me to use this deck first. Okay, so great fortune, good. Sagittarius, we can we can say that we're all for that, right? <laughs> so great fortune, and there's something that's being, um, well, it's number 26, can reduce to eight. So that is all about your prosperity, abundance. Maybe being able to put down um, quite working quite as hard. Maybe being able to get to that point where um, where there's great fortune and less work. It might be work getting to that point, but you know what I'm saying because of the way that it's coming out. <clears throat> so you've earned this. Whatever this is, you've earned this. Somebody... Possibly is not, and maybe somebody's not who they seem, but in a good way. That's kind of like how I'm getting this. That somebody might not be who they seem, but it's um, but it might be a like in a good way, in a good way. It's kind of like the energy of not having to work here, or getting to that point of not having to work. I don't know. We're gonna see. We'll see what else. Sagittarius. This is um, Dreams of Gaia. It is a tarot deck. The uh, our major arcana are just a little bit different. So, Dreams of Gaia. Just give me some messages. Sagittarius. Oh, well, you're going to be coming out of a difficult financial situation. So, something's going to be solved for you financially. Good. Um, pay attention for any kind of tricks or anything like that. But like I say, that there could be somebody, it feels like there could be somebody around that maybe even has more money than they're saying or something like that. I know that sounds, I know how that sounds, but it, so this is about coming out of some kind of financial hardship or trouble, um, changes, money changes, but for the, for the good, this is, um, success. Careful, careful for, uh, people trying to trick you. As you can see, he's got that, um, like the cards in one hand and the necklace in the other hand that looks like it's near his waist um okay so this is it's kind of how you would want to see this card um oh i have faith faith on the bottom um yeah so this is the ten of swords is in the reverse it's how you'd want to see it just with five of pentacle in the reverse so a reinventing of yourself um it's something completely new and on this card it's like something being reborn at least in the guidebook, it's, it's more about something being reborn. So something has to had to completely end so that you, it could um, be a success here. You have a really good, um, good cards for like a success. Okay, I thought that one wanted to come out, but maybe not. Queen of Earth is in the reverse. I'm going to get clarification on that because it can be somebody who's like interfering or meddling. It can be, oh, it could be a few of these things. Okay. So it could be that it could be a Capricorn energy. It could be somebody that is just, they're trying to tell you how to do things and getting involved in your like domestic, making it harder and making something harder for you. And then on the other side of this card can be about um, using your resources wisely, what you have. And it might be about having to budget a little bit on resources. So we're gonna get um, we're gonna get clarification from the regular regular tarot here for Queen of Earth in the reverse. 
So you have um, Capricorn, Taurus, Gemini. Energy really strong. Tell me about the Queen of Earth in the reverse. Tell me more about the Queen of Earth. It might be this false person or the person that is not who they seem or is somewhat tricky. This is somebody who's interfering in a, in a marriage or a commitment. Uh, for some, it, it is because it's, it's causing something to break apart or... Um, or this is something that this, the, a role that this person doesn't want. Hmm. That's not very compassionate. Uh, it is meddling into something, possibly causing some changing of commitments, causing some people to break their allegiances. That makes sense. Oh, chariot. And then the chariot has to do with um, something picking up speed. Possibly a move because that can stand for a trip, travel, vehicle, the way to get there. To me, it means that you're, you know, on the right path towards your victory when you see that. So there is a big move and it might be a, that there is a big physical move here. So what about the rebirth or what are we um, being born again as? Oh, wow. The high priestess. The high priestess, it's whatever you're wanting to make it. With the three of wands here on the bottom, it's um, so something's being about being really creative. The high priestess, intuitive, and maybe it's a reawakening of your gifts, talents, and abilities. Sometimes people put those on the back burner and shut them down, not realizing they've shut them down. And the arrival of the high priestess in your reading then could indicate that some kind of uh, talents or abilities have begun to resurface or came coming back in could have uh, Pisces energy cancer energy Aries hmm so it's more than likely that that somebody is going to make a return it might be you it might be you There's a return because there's a, a, an issue where we've tried to emotionally pull away from. And that's indicating not able to. So there's some things that I feel like need fixing. Like on the home front. Let's get another one of these dreams of Gaia and, and see. Cause so it can either be about a return, your return, or trip back home, trips back somewhere to fix something or to see something be reborn okay dreams of Gaia give me um, another message here for Sagittarius for their next 48 hour reading ten of cups in the reverse Ten of Cups in the reverse is my, it's it's the card that says to me something is missing. So feeling like um, still not complete emotionally here. So what is it that we, and it, I mean, it's suggesting that you are very aware that something is lacking. And because of that not being there in your life, um, it's causing this kind of like emptiness. Like there's a there's something that needs to be filled. It can be motherly issues or shame or something like something like that coming up as far as like someone never being happy or you can't please this person. Tell me about the high priestess. Oh, wow, you got the death and rebirth. And that was the death and rebirth. Basically, that card is your rebirth. Ooh, 
So that's a really strong message. What a beautiful card. Death and Rebirth, eight. Um, you got the sweet little frog, which you have to be careful when you see the frog. You know that you can be very sensitive to um, the things going on around you. Um, you soak it up. So a toxic environment is not a good thing when you have that frog spirit around. There's a lot of fertility. There's... Um, shedding the skin death and rebirth and there's the manifestation it's a beautiful card it's a beautiful card and, and they're associating it with number eight here in this deck so um infinitely creating so that's definitely a, a really strong message for you all this card right here death and rebirth so for someone that's definitely meant, meant to come out tell me about a. Uh, we're coming out of a hard time with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Um, the Ten, is, Ten of Cups in reverse is, uh, has to do with feeling like something's missing. And then there you've got the Five of Air. Now, but this, in this um, deck, the Five of Air is somebody who's really conflicted on who they are or who they really are. And someone is taking, um, is conflicted because of needing to um, live more authentically. And that, that includes going after what, what it is that you really think would make you happy. I don't know. So this could be conflicted regarding the self, regarding who you, who you are um, or who you're uh, showing that you are. All right. Maybe it can be hard to find people um, to get along with here. Could be hard. Uh, it could be a situation where eventually you're going to figure this out. Tell me about the Queen of Earth here in the reverse. If you all need a private reading, contact me. Um, my email address is in the description box below. They're affordable and I might be able to help with more information. Right? Abundance. Beautiful abundance so you, though you may feel conflicted right now the closer you're getting to your manifestation your death your rebirth and the closer you're getting to all kinds of abundance like that rainbow it's it's like the great fortune card but it's it's all kinds of abundance and the um the sweet little dragon on that card always reminds me of like the protectors protecting for the future, um, holding back for the horde, the dragon's horde. Um, so abundance, beautiful. And at the end of the day, Sagittarius, it's all about the journey. It's all about enjoying this journey. And maybe it's the high priestess journey, getting to know yourself. All right, so that's what I've got for you. I'm gonna pull from the Oracle of Genetic Gifts to close out this reading, Sagittarius. Just a quick reading today. F for Facebook, or maybe it's so that we can F just to, for you. Um, spiritual posts and activities. And then I have ancestral line is older than earth with a compass. Oh, wow. Psychic medium. This might be the, um, the journey of this. Communication between spirit worlds, psychic medium. On the bottom of the deck, I have maternal side. Spiritual gifts, wisdom, inheritance from the mother, mother's line. That's what I got for you. Sending you love and light. 